Jiggy Cat On a damn feeling spree This is not good so And you can't mimic my energy 100 round drum And me hanging like a centipede Hey everyone, it's me Nagato here. Hope you guys are having an awesome day for today. As the title states, I'm going to be teaching you guys on how to convert slash combine multi-disc slash multi-track games for the PlayStation 1. And this does work with um, .bin files, .imgs, and anything of that nature. One thing I do want to stay out the way or just list some examples so you guys could be on the same page on exactly what I'm talking about. Um, Back in the day for like the PlayStation 1, many of you guys know what games like Final Fantasy 7, some games had multiple disc disc so like final fantasy 7 had disc 1 disc 2 disc 3 and basically um certain games like ridge racer 4 or like the original ridge racer or dance dance revolution some of their audio files were in you know multiple bin files anytime you would extract the disc so with this process what i'm going to teach you today is basically on how to take you know separate disc and just combine them into one file so it's kind of like an eboot.pbp but i'm going to be showing you guys on how to do this um from scratch and it's very simple and easy on how to do but with that being all out the way i'm just going to go ahead and state today's prerequisites which isn't much all you need is isobuster.exe and any playstation one game that is either a multi-disc or a multiple track bin game so with that being all out the way let's go to the pc and get this set it up Alrighty guys, assuming that you did follow all of the steps and the prerequisites, we're just going to go ahead and get started on the PC side of things first. So first things first, what you need to do is go ahead and download the latest version of ISO Buster. It's fairly simple on how to do this. If you want Windows, just go to download ISO Buster and then you just got to basically download it from here. So download it and then you'll get this .exe. Once it's on your PC, just go ahead and hit open with done. If you're using Google Chrome or just with any browser, just go ahead and open up the program so that's what I'm doing here um, you should see on a screen or maybe you won't but you'll get this ISO buster installation just hit yes over it if you want Windows 10 and now um, it's just asking you for the select setup language so just hit OK for whatever language I'm from um, United States so I speak English um, you can read the license agreement just go ahead and hit accept uh, hit next do this next again um, from here it's very important make sure you have select all so it can find any um, type of files since we're dealing with bin and possibly .img or iso and q files you want to make sure that all of your file types are associated with iso buster so that's what i'm going to do i'm just going to set all and then all we got to do is hit next um, from here you could create a desktop uh, icon or create a quick launch i'll just create a desktop icon just for today's purposes so that's all you have to do for iso buster is pretty simple and then all you got to do is hit finish so we have iso buster here um it's just wanting to launch on my pc so here is iso buster right now and this is the actual program let me close out of chrome so we have iso buster right here but before we get started on to basically trying to compact or basically take our multi-track playstation one or multiple disc ps1 games into one file what we're going to do is go into our actual game of choice so here's the game we're going to be testing today uh dance dance revolution second mic remix and this is basically a bez or excuse me better visualization on what i'm talking about so you can see here that i have um you know multiple tracks and these are basically all of the audio tracks for the ps1 game so this can if this was on a disc all of the uh bin files will be onto the actual disc and this is just it um basically extracted so our goal is to take all of our files and just make it into one file so all we got to do here is just go back out to iso buster so let me go right here so here's iso buster we need to go and open up to file open image file and we got to find our game so i'll just start from the get beginning so go ahead and get your game that is a multi-track or multi-disc game and you want to go and select the .q file it's very important that you have the .q file since the q file kind of contains all of the metadata for the other tracks for your game so that's what i'm doing here and then if you notice in iso buster it found all of our tracks that are contained into our set game so yours may be you know 10 tracks into if it's the audio disc but with that being out the way as well since mine has 36 all we need to do is where it says cd we need to right click over that and we need to go to extract a cd image and you want to go to raw 
right here and this is basically going to compact all of our tracks into one disk so right now what we want to do is save this as a dot bin and we can just call it i don't know ddr second remix you could just name it anything for whatever game you're doing this is just for test purposes only so all you got to do is hit save and now what is it doing is basically taking all of the audio tracks and then um creating its q file so that's what I'm, it's doing here and if we look back onto our pc you can notice that we have our fully bin that has the full game as along with its queue so if i were to um you know put this on my uh, playstation vita or try to you know put this on my playstation portable if i converted this to an eboo.pvp or if i was doing this from the playstation 3 or anything like retroarch or any emulator at that this game will run perfectly but just to notice something as well if we hit Control a over my game you notice that um it has the same file size as well so that's how you know off the back if all of your um you know files are compacted into one since both of the file sizes should match so mine's for dance dance revolution second remix um is 609 megabytes if we go over to the bin and go to properties you can see that it's 609 megabytes so yeah that's essentially on how to um exactly take a multi-track or multi-disc game for the playstation one this is a pretty much a quick tutorial for today for me but if you guys did enjoy this please be sure to share please be sure to like but with that being said my name is nagato's revenge and i'm signing out peace Hey everyone, it's me Nagato's Revenge here. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. With that being out the way as well, I highly do recommend that y'all guys go ahead and follow my social media so you never miss any of the latest hacking guides and tutorials on my channel by subscribing to me and hitting that notification button as well. It's another method on how you will know when I drop my latest content, whether it be for the Vita, PS4, PS3, and such and so forth. As well, if you want to be in a mix of things and you want to join my official community, you can join via the link right now showcased on the screen and join my my discord that way and if you do want to support my channel in any shape or form you could become a patron i will have a card right now but with all of that getting out the way hope you guys really did enjoy this video and i'll see y'all next time peace